Yeah, I think there were a lot of positives to take, of course, mostly in the first half. Um, I thought it was a really strong first half performance. Uh, we made it a really difficult game for Liverpool. We pressed really well. Our organisation was very good. We were physical. We were aggressive. We were brave out of possession. And in possession, we did a lot of good things as well. I thought we'd find a really nice mixture between showing our bravery and our composure to build short passes, but also you know, used the physical presence that we had on the top line with Wes and with Liam. And I thought we... We give a really, really strong team a lot of problems. So um, I think it was a really positive first half performance and I think we showed all the ingredients that we're going to need to have a good season this season. Um, of course, the challenge for us then is that we have to be able to do that for longer. We have to be able to do that for for 90 minutes or in the periods where we can't be like that. We have to you know, find ways to, to manage the game and be how, you know, be how we would want to be in, in that phase. So, yeah, I think there was a lot more positives to take from the game. Of course, the second half was difficult and, and Liverpool kicked into the stride and, and the game got away from us. But um, I, I think the players should be really proud of their efforts and the way that they managed to step up. I think they all come away from the game more confident in terms of feeling like they can compete at this level, they can play at this level, but also knowing that there's a lot of areas for us to improve in and, and that's, the, that's the job now, that's the work and that'll start on Monday. Next. Yes, a number of different factors. There wasn't huge differences tactically in the in the second half. Trent played a little bit higher on the right hand side, so there's there's a few little adjustments. Um, I think our physical level dropped. That's the you know that's the reality of it. That's understandable one by the efforts that we've put into the first half but also you know we're very early on we've got quite a few players out there playing the first ever game of Premier League football and 10 of the starting team playing the first ever start at the Premier League level so there's an adjustment to the intensity we have a few who you know haven't completed the full pre-season who probably are a little bit undercut going into the day so I think there was a physical drop off from us Liverpool of course credit to them they showed their quality and in the in the top line, especially in their ability to to utilise the space in behind and play the ball into the space in behind for their fast runners, and uh, yeah, I think that's um, that's the challenge that we're going to face. Um, the biggest thing for us is probably, you know, in terms of lessons, is one finding that level of execution in the first half to probably get the goal that I don't think would have been undeserved, and managing the period in the second half when Liverpool were in full flow and playing really well. Um, just managing that that phase of the game better, so that we can stay. Even if it is at one nil down, we can stay in one nil down and manage to stay in the game. And if we do that, we would have the possibility to to push hard late in the game. So, um, yeah, I think you have to respect the level of the opponent. You have to respect the jump for for our players, and there's not too much criticised them on. But there's there's details um, that we can improve on the second half that will will give us a better chance to stay dominant for longer. Uh, we tried to prepare as we normally would for a game, so we try to keep everything as, as normal. Um, and we've had a good week of preparation. Of course, we acknowledge the the achievement, the occasion to, you know, for so many of the group to have been part of bringing Premier League football back to Ipswich for the first time in so long. And the way that we've done it in with back to back promotions is incredible. And for, you know, 10 players to make their first Premier League start, that's, you know, that's climbing the mountains, such a small percentage of professional footballers managed to play in the best league in the world so um, it's something that you know I'm very proud of them they should be very proud of themselves as I know they are um, so we acknowledge that but other than that it was concentrating the performance and I think you can say in the first half by by how we performed you know the players dealt with the occasion very very well and um, managed to impose ourselves on on a fantastic team and made it a really competitive game in that first half. Yeah, look, it's um, the way the fixtures come out, of course, with it being Liverpool and Man City first two games, you know, we take that as a real positive. We know that 
you know, it's going to give us a real good insight to the top echelons of the league and of, you know, club football in the world, to be honest, in the first couple of weeks. So we know that the group is, is right in at the deep end, but um, we feel like that can hopefully fast track our, our adjustment and our development into this league. Um, so we take that as a positive. We know on the flip side of it that there's a chance coming into the season that, you know, we'll have no points after the first two games. Um, but we also know that the league's really difficult and the game after that's Fulham. It's, you know, another excellent team. We've had a couple of years in the Premier League now. After that, I think it's Brighton. So every game's going to be difficult for sure. We have two of the most um, dominant teams in the league early on. I think we'll take positives from today. Um, but other than that, it's just going to be about our journey, how we continue to improve, both from a physical point of view, as you say, and how we build that up over the next weeks and months, but also tactically and mentally and uh, from a technical execution as well, how we continue to improve over the next few months. We won't spend much time, um, to be honest, talking about the league table or positions or points. That's not you know, how we work. That's not how we've got to this point. It'll be about um, you know, full commitment to each game, give each game our best, learn our lessons, train and propel really well, train and, and prepare really well the next week and get ready to go again. And uh, that'll be the same, whoever we play against. Stuart. No, the supporters were, were fantastic. Um, we've had some great atmospheres here. We've had some, some noise in the last few years, but there was, there was moments in the first half where it was, was right up there with anything that we've had. And um, the supporters were great. Of, you know, I think more importantly in the second half, because the first half, the excitement of the game, the, the flow of the game, the way it was going, the fact that we were having opportunities and pinning Liverpool in on occasion, you know, of course the supporters were, were right behind us. But I think more importantly for the season, in the second half when the game got away from us a little bit and Liverpool were the dominant team and looked like scoring, um, the crowd kept pushing the players dead right behind the team and said right with us to the end and that helped the players play right to the last whistle, which they, which they managed to do. So, um, yeah, I, I think they will have enjoyed the game. Of course, we want to win every game. But they've seen their team and they've seen the group, you know, so many of the group that they've been proud of over the last couple of years. They've seen them go and compete for, OK, for 45 minutes, but they've seen them go and compete really well against one of the best teams in in the league. And um, they've had a good look at the level. They've saw the level and the challenge what's ahead of us. And I know and I really believe they'll be with us, you know, every moment of every game. Yeah, yeah, he got a knock in his calf um, in the early part of the week, so we were hoping that he would be okay up until he had a fitness test this morning, but um, he wasn't able to make it. So, yeah, look, I think that's a big positive from the day, if I'm honest, you know, because it's such a an important lesson for the group. Christian Walton's come into the game, not having played a league fixture for 15, 16 months. His last league fixture was in League One, and he's trained and prepared all last season, didn't manage to to get minutes in the league, um, lost his position through an injury and um, he stayed ready and performed really, really well today. So I think, you know, there's a, a big lesson for us and a big reinforcement for the group in terms of everyone being ready and everyone being needed. And uh, we're certainly going to, that's going to be the case all season and that showed up pretty well today. No, Wes has a, Wes, Wes has a hamstring, um, so we don't know the severity of it yet, but I'm sure he will get assessed in the next few days so that's a um, disappointing one so we'll have to assess that sorry Phil just in front of you yeah. no <laughs> so, <laughs> cool. who no we're okay. not going to comment on that no can you please go yeah Yeah, it's just our execution. Um, you know, we had some we had some big moments where we were breaking through the pitch, and we had an overload on one or two occasions as well. And it's the execution of the timing of the the pass, the the angle and the weight of the pass, the timing of support and run. And um, I think if we had have got those elements better, then we would have had a couple of big big chances. So, yeah, that's the challenge: um, developing our execution and developing our execution under big fatigue because the intensity and the level of the game is so high you're playing under more fatigue than the players will have ever played under before and of course with even if it is an overload situation better defenders facing you in big big environments and big pressure situations and executing in, in those situations will be key for us and um, something that we can take from today and think that 
you know, if we can improve on that, then certainly the scoreline could have been different at half time. Phil, we can take one question from you, but different subject, please. No, the players are positive down there. Look, the group's used to winning. Um, we want to win every game, and it's never going to feel good not winning, especially at home. Well, it doesn't matter if it's home or away. It's never going to feel good. But no, the boys are positive down there. I think the overriding emotion for most of those who start the game should be, you know, pride and uh, an increase in confidence that they showed that no matter the where they've came from, that they can compete in the Premier League against one of the best teams. So um, they're positive down there. We all, they also know that we've got strides to go. They also know that Liverpool were much better than us in the second half and deserve to win the game in that period. So, um, you know, there's there's a realistic mood down there of being proud of what we've achieved to get to this day and lots of elements of the performance we can take confidence from individually and collectively, but also knowing that, you know, there's some some more strides to make and I'm sure the, the attitude and Positivity on Monday will be really good to, to get to work on that. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.